tend to get emotional when I talk about this. <clears throat> but on this particular day, I feel the need to. When I first began being asked why, 10 years ago, by parents, by my friends, by doctors, by senior military leaders, why do you want to go back and do this? Haven't you done enough? Haven't you sacrificed enough? Isn't it time for the next group of men and women warriors to come up behind you and for you to move on to the next evolution of your life? Why keep going? And when I first began being asked that question, it, it really got me angry. It really got me angry. Like, what do you mean, why? This is who I am. This is what I was put on this earth to do. What is the alternative? Roll over and die? Because this is what I do. This is who I am. Maybe you don't understand. I'll try again to explain it to you. I will go back to doing what I do. I will live my purpose. I will live my truth. I will do whatever it takes by any righteous means necessary to grab that reality and ram it into fruition. I mean, why? Almost like how dare you ask me why was how I would approach it. But I've, I've matured a little bit over the last decade, as is what's hopeful for all of us. And it's a fair question. It's a fair question. Very fair question. And, you know, through reflection and prayer and retrospective analysis, I've, I've, I've answered that for myself. And I'll share it with you here in the next two minutes. There's really three layers to it. I right? think layers like a like a cake, maybe. Or like an onion, if you're into onions. The worst food up. A faster way to ruin a meal than with onions, in my opinion. Anyway, I digress. On the exterior, on the crust, you've got competitiveness. I'm, I'm competitive. Competitive. And as much as I need to win as much as i love to win i hate to lose more and there is a difference there is a difference i have a, a a greater emotional high off of losing than i do winning so the idea of losing in this manner just did not sit well with me no one is going to dictate my future but me So there's competitiveness, there's that. Go a layer deeper than that. And you've got passion. You got passion. Right? I love what I do. I'll say it again. I love what I get to do. In fact, I believe that it is the greatest privilege a person can take on to pledge themselves to a society in which we will defend at all costs. Like these guys right here. It's a privilege, it's an honor. We get to do this. And that is something that most of us take incredibly seriously. I get to work alongside some of the greatest people that have ever lived on this planet. You will never convince me of anything otherwise. I get to do that. 